Okay, now don't freak out. Oh my god, she finally did it. She finally did what? I haven't even told you anything yet. Is there a body in this bag? Yes. I knew it. Who is he? Why are you assuming that it's a he? Steven. His name is Steven. God, I knew this day would come. You keep having one bad date after another and you snapped and you took a life. At least let me explain. Let me guess. The evening starts off semi-normal. He rings your buzzer. You answer the door. He says you look bright. Am I right so far? He was the perfect gentleman. Now this is where things start going downhill. He gets a whiff of what your apartment smells like. My apartment doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like an old folks home, pork rinds and feet? Yes. And even though he can hardly breathe, he sits and has a glass of the $4.99 bottle of wine that you're serving on this tragic night. Beaver Meadow Falls Merlot is delicious. He starts to get a little tipsy. You then seductively stride across your potato chip crumbed up rug. My vacuum is busted. I don't own a vacuum. Over to your stereo where you play some of that crappy music that sounds like whales having sex. It is whales having sex. <laughs> My lady parts are getting tingly. Gross. And it's at about this point in the evening where our friend Steven here sees a sewer rat run across your living room floor with an old chicken bone in its mouth. Petey! The rat's name was Petey? No, the chicken's name was Petey. That rat's a son of a bitch. Steven now realizes that he may need to get out of crazy land. Petey. Steven hops off the sticky couch and bolts for the door. But there was something in his path. A ball of cat hair even though you've never owned a cat? Yes, that and this! My umbrella. Steven tripped over it and hit his head on my end table. The end table with all of the tissues that hold your tears from a thousand nights of loneliness? Bingo! If you hadn't left your umbrella in my apartment, Steven would be alive right now. And we'd be riding our way to Oville. That's short for Orgasmville, and it's a very sexy town in my mind. And I assumed you, in a drunken rage, stabbed him in the face with a dirty screwdriver you keep beside the toilet to unclog it when you've eaten too much Dallas barbecue. Wrong o Jack Wagon. The evening was perfection until your umbrella killed him! As far as I'm concerned, this is your fault! Okay, let's not point fingers here. I'm sure there's a rational way we can deal with this situation. Chop him up and flush him down the toilet. Do you have your screwdriver in case of a clog? Never leave home without it. I'll get the axe. Oh, I love it when we spend time together! <laughs> See, I told you you would like my friends. <laughs> <laughs>